Hello everybody and welcome to another video of Clash on Clashington. Now, this episode is going to be a little special, especially because it is the very first deck video I have ever made for Clash on Clashington. The first deck is Farmers. Now, Farmers sound like a very odd decision, but what is interesting about them is that they have item events, and with these item events they are able to get easier access to them than most decks would, and they could definitely help in a rough situation. Now on that note, I'd say we should start delving into some of the cards in this deck. The first I'll show is Blitzbeetle. Blitzbeetle is a card that costs no actions to play as a minion, which is very useful because it can give you the tempo that you need in a certain Clashington by allowing you to use that extra action for maybe drawing a card or just playing another card. The next card is the shovel. Now, at first glance, this thing doesn't do a thing, and you'll probably be wondering to yourself, well, why do I even need it? You'll see later in this video. Next card is the buffening. The buffening is a quick way to give your minions that little boost of buffiness in a clashing tin. It doesn't cost any action, so if you don't have a special particular circumstance in a clashing tin, this is the card you can use in order to gain that little advantage. Now here is one of the cards that benefits from the shovel. Stinky Soil, naturally to itself, is an item event, and naturally would let you just draw a card. But at the same time, you could do that without playing any cards. So Stinky Soil in itself is a bit of a disadvantageous card because it doesn't give you that much value. But if you have the shovel and a clashing tin, it makes it so much better. You could also make a level 1 or 2 enemy minion in the clashing tin unconscious, which is very useful. Next card. Smart Soil, another card that benefits from the Shovel. As similar to Stinky Soil, it only draws a card if you have it by itself. But with the Shovel, unlike Stinky Soil, this card allows you to draw two cards instead and you gain an extra action. So in a way, this is like a buffed Papers Please. Rush of Sugar, as mentioned in the tutorial video, is a zero action card that gives you an extra action. Once again, it's another tempo gaining card and can be very useful but is also very versatile in many decks. Rabble Rouser. Here's one that you could play that is one of the bigger guys in the farmer deck. It's a 30 buffiness minion, but at the same time it could also make weaker minions unconscious. Now, notice how it says it doesn't have to be an enemy minion, so if you do have some weird, like, interesting technique where you benefit from your own minions becoming unconscious, Rebel Rouser can be there to be some help. Potato Master, he is a 30 buffiness minion, a farmer minion, and he is a vanilla because he doesn't have any special abilities, but for his level amount, he has a decent amount of buffiness in compensation. Papers Please, as mentioned in the tutorial video, is the simple one action event that draws two cards. And as I said before, Smart Soil has a little bit of a buff from that because if you have the shovel with Smart Soil, you gain an extra action as well. Horseradish is another very interesting card in the Farmer deck. This one because, naturally, as a 2 level minion for 25, it's an alright card, but if you have other farmers in its Clashington, it gains buffiness and compensation, including Unconscious. Flower Buddy is another one of the level 3 hard hitters in this deck, but has a little bit of an interesting twist to it. When he is played, you can place a Bud minion counter, basically another minion, and as noted here, it's going to be a plant minion level 1 with 10 buffiness, and another Clashington. So in a way, it could be like a Blitz Beetle, but you could also strategize with it. Uh, if another Clashington is very weak at the moment, it will give you that extra buffiness. Dirt Speaker is another very interesting card, and is one of the very first cards to bring advantages from slapping out minions. Now, sapping out in general could be a very advantageous ability, but with Dirt Speaker, it becomes all the better. With 15 buffiness for level 1, he's an alright card, just like Horseradish, but if Dirt Speaker is slapped out, the slapping minion gains 10 buffiness. So, in a way, slapping him out brings even more benefits than the typical slapping out would. Cannonball Buster. Don't be afraid by all the text in the bottom because this card can be very useful. At zero actions, it's very efficient in bringing you that tempo, but at the same time, it takes a little time to set up. As you can see, at the beginning of your turns, you put powder counters on Cannonball Buster. You remove these counters from him at a certain time and you make it inactive, and it allows an enemy minion in this clashing tin with buffiness less than or equal to 10 times the amount of powder counters on Cannonball Buster to become unconscious. So, it takes a little while to set up, but it's useful to play early on in order to get that big advantage. Bugging Beetle is a very interesting card, I must say. He doesn't work on your side of the field, but he works on the opponent's side. When he is placed, obviously you place an empty slot on your opponent's side, and what he does is he makes all the minions in that Clashington, including himself, lose 5 buffiness. So it keeps him still conscious at a simple mere 5 buffiness, but at the same time, overall, you'll be getting the advantage if your opponent has a lot of minions in that clashington. 
Playing him in the other opponent's clash hand does still cost you an action, but it has to be in an empty slot as well. And an empty slot can be anything from just a slot with no minions at all in it, or nothing but unconscious minions. It can't be in one with a conscious minion. Bale of Fishies, another zero cost item circumstance card that can be advantageous over time, but this card is a little different from Cannibal Buster in the sense that it's more of a desperation type of card. You can spend an action in this clash hand to place fishy minion counters, which have 10 buffing, it's just like the bud counters for Flower Buddy, into the Clashington. So, if you don't want to draw a card in the Clashington and instead try to play something but don't have that many cards in your hand, you could use this instead in order to keep in that tempo in a way, even though it might be a little bit of a drawback at the same time. Now, Banky Lonway. He is the main character in this entire deck. He is what is known as a VIP farmer minion. VIP means that you can only have one of this minion on the field at any time. So basically, either side of the field, even your opponents, say if you two had Banky Longways in your deck, whoever plays it first, the other opponent can't play it unless Banky Longway becomes unconscious on one side of the field. You must also keep in mind that uh, for VIPs, they work a little interesting because although VIPs can be unconscious on the field, say if you had more than a single Banky Longway in your deck, and the reason why you'd probably have that is because you want to have him out more often on the field. What you would do is if you played a new Banky Lawnway when another one in your field is unconscious, you would take the one on your field that is unconscious and put it into your torn up pile, then play the new Banky. The reason why it is like that is because in case there are any effects that would make things from unconscious go conscious again, it will make sure that there's none of the two same card on the field. Now, on that note of making things conscious is Brussels Sprout Bomb. It is a one action item event and it allows a level 1 or 2 minion in this Clashington to regain consciousness. Now like again, it could be your own or your opponents, but obviously I recommend with your own minions. You must also keep in mind that if you have a conscious minion in a slot and you make one of the unconscious ones below it conscious, it would only work if it is able to slap out the minion that is currently conscious. If you have an empty slot, it doesn't matter just because there's nothing there at the moment and it just makes the unconscious conscious again. The last card I will be introducing in their deck is Almanax Farmer. Almanax Farmer is another 15 buffiness farmer minion, but what is interesting about this is that it allows you to search your deck for a non-item circumstance, such as the buffening, or even a soil card, such as Stinky Soil or Soggy Soil, and put it into your hand. Now, although it doesn't really give you the power that most vanilla cards would give, it gives you that little tempo in the sense that you get more cards, and you also get to choose which cards you want. That is all the cards that are introduced in this farmer's deck, and I'd like you guys to test it out, play with it as much as you can. You can even switch up the cards a bit, like say if you didn't want three Potato Masters, if you only want two, and you want more of another card, you could do that. I will have all the individual card images in the Dropbox, and please check the link below, because that will give you not only the PDF for the original farmer's deck, but it will give you access to all the other individual cards as well, and that is also where I'll be putting all the other cards as they come along, especially weekly updates and newer upcoming decks. From that, i just like to wish you all good luck and keep on clashing.